What is up, YouTube? This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel already, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below and give me a big thumbs up on this video. Today I'm out here at the Kellen House of Theater. This thing is going to be killer, guys. Um, this is the series that we're doing. You know, Kellen is our national sales director and I'm thrilled to be able to do this theater with him. This is a 9.2.6 Focal Utopia 1000 series uh, speaker system. We got the studio tech from Stuart here and RS3000, just a killer room. And we're getting close to nearing the end of this project. We're gonna put up the acoustics next and then it's time for demos. But I wanted to show you guys, once again, I've made videos on this in the past with other models, but I wanted to show you how to properly align your projector to, in particular, we're using a JVC RS3000, also known as the NX9. I wanna show you how to align that to a 16 by nine Stuart Studio Tech 130. This is a 1.3 gain, perfect for home cinema, guys. Um, so if you would like to purchase, reach out and show your support, guys. We will do a free consultation, free video with you. We'll walk through the whole room and tailor packages specifically to your needs and budget. Well, we ship throughout the whole country. If you like the video, give me a big thumbs up and smash the subscribe button. Let's do it, guys. Welcome back, Dream Media family. Now, I'm gonna go over some of the basics of aligning your projector to the screen. It is actually much easier than most people make it. I train our preferred installers on a weekly basis just going over some of the fundamentals of getting this done, because I've seen guys sit in the field for an hour struggling with this. It should only take like five or 10 minutes. Look, right here, we know that our screen's level. We did all that, that work, all the speakers are level, everything's level with Earth. That's key to the success of aligning the projector properly. You also wanna make sure that your screen is uh, perfectly square, which we did, so that could be a potential issue if you haven't verified that. Check from corner to corner and make sure the measurement is exactly the same. So at the top of the screen, you can see, yeah, it, it's kind of difficult to tell um, through a YouTube video, but the first step, that what you're gonna do is level the projector to the top of the screen. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna rake your image to where like you're gonna have one side, either the left side or the right side on the bottom that isn't level, which is okay, that's expected. And what that means is that your projector isn't shooting straight. So once you level your legs on the projector to where it's level across the top, then we're gonna physically move that projector to fix the issue at the bottom. So step one and two, we're gonna do right now. I'm gonna hop up here on the ladder. Okay guys, so you can see I got my ladder. This is an RS3000. We hit the lens button and there's different options for lens shift, um, lens zoom, and lens focus. It doesn't matter which one you're on. You're gonna kind of do a rough alignment. Just get it to where the image is, is kind of fitting the screen and make sure you flip your image if you have it, the projector mounted to the ceiling. But we just have it sitting in this nifty little box. So we don't have to worry about that. So if you look at the screen right now on the top right, see up there, we got a gap. So I'm gonna take the right leg and I'm gonna physically screw it down to bring that side up. Okay, so it's hard to see in the video, but now the line is almost level with the top of the screen. And what I'm gonna do is grab the remote and actually physically move it down so that back onto the screen so that we can see it better. You got the remote, Kellen? Oh, Chris, you got it. So we got uh, Chris, that home theater dude in the house, he's moving it down for us so that we can see that line better. So as you can see, it still needs to go up a little, so I'm physically moving the leg. Now guys, we sell a fine adjustment projector mount. 
that makes this a breeze if you're ceiling mounting it. So make sure to ask our sales consultants about that if you call in. Can you scoot it up, Chris? Are we getting close? Okay, so still a little bit off. Still a little off. All right, let's check it. So you guys can see just a little bit at a time, I'm adjusting that leg, which is changing the tilt on the projector. So that is, I think I'm gonna go just another half turn, make it perfect. How do we look, Chris? Perfect. So, <laughs> honestly, we're already on the right track. See, we got the top lining right up. And if you guys are wondering at home what's going on over here, uh, this, this extra, these extra bars, this is for a 240 screen. Um, Cinescope, widescreen aspect ratio. This is 16 by nine, which is standard for like pretty much all content. If you watch movies, you're gonna get bars on the top and bottom right here. Can, I don't know if they, can they see? Yeah. Okay. Right here, you'll have bars, top and bottom. Um, but if you were to do a widescreen, um, then it would actually come out all the way. You would have a, uh, a completely different screen. But what's great with 16 by nine is sports, Netflix, um, your menus, um, basically just standard content is gonna fill this whole screen. So let's look. I mean, good, we got very lucky. Um, this is actually lining up perfect. <laughs> but that normally doesn't happen. So I'm gonna show you guys an example of what you're probably gonna see in your room. So as an example, this is common right here to where, shift it over, Chris. Mm -hmm. you, you get the screen up there and you're like, man, it's level across the top, but what's going on right here? You got the, you got the big gap. Yeah. So, so this is very common. A lot of you guys at home get to this point and you don't know what to do. It's as simple as physically moving the projector so that it's shooting straight. So if you go by these simple rules, level across the top and then physically move the projector, done. So we're gonna move it back into the correct location and that's a wrap. Tell them which direction you're physically going to move the projector. So you actually move the projector into the bend. So I'm physically moving the projector to the left. So whichever so whichever portion is uh, the bigger gap on Here. the bottom. No, it's, it's fine. They probably hear me. So whichever portion has a bigger gap on the bottom, that's the way you're physically going to move the projector. And then you shift back with the remote back to the other side. Exactly. Yeah, so if you guys have kids or, you know, you've got a floor above you or if you have kids, <laughs> you might want to zoom out a little bit. This is where these thicker bezel screens are nice is to have a little bit of bleed zone um, so that if the kids are jumping around roughhousing or the doors get slammed and things shift a little you're not going to notice especially with ceiling mounted projectors that's very common um, but what chris is doing right now is he's just going to go like an eighth of an inch over into the bleed zone and then we got to rack that focus which is something that is important to the alignment. We're gonna rack it back and forth. It looks like it could go a little bit to the right. I'll, try and make it perfect, yeah. I'll, I'll fix it. So guys, if you're very particular like me, you can see down here at the bottom, it was a little bit still, it's not perfectly straight on the bottom left and right. So we're gonna physically move the projector back just a hair to the right. Did I move it too much? All right, guys, I'm gonna go wash my hands. I got a little fiberglass, but Chris is gonna rack the focus for you. All right, Kellen, if you could come over here. 
So what you want to focus on is people, what, what I notice is they go way, back, way far back in the room and they try to rack focus. That's not how you do it. So you try to get as close as possible to the image, right? And then you start going back and forth. So right now I'm racking the focus and as you'll notice, it starts getting blurry, right? So what you do is you just go back and forth on that blurry part and then you'll figure out what's the actual best part, best one to, to land on. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see it in the video. See how fuzzy it is now? And like it kind of it kind of goes weird to where it goes on one side and then it goes on the other side, right? So then you just go back and forth and then you, now it's getting worse. So I go the other way. So it gets a little better. It's a little crispy. And now You're it's going the wrong direction. You get little blocks. Mm -hmm. Like you want to see the pixels. So you can see the pixels in this little part. Yeah. That's why they have it. So. That's pretty like, good. That looks great. That's pretty good. Now it's getting blurry again. Start going back, smaller and smaller. Take getting your blurry time. again. I can't tell you how perfect. Many getting blurry. Yeah. And this should be it there. I can't tell you guys how many clients' homes I've gone to where they think that their projector is bad and it just wasn't focused. This is one of the most simple things you can do to maximize your image quality. So just real quick, Kellen, uh, if you could just cut, cut those lights again and come up here really, really close. Hope that the camera will keep the, the focus. But if you can see right here, the lines aren't necessarily one color. So you have red and you have a little bit of a greenish color here. So you have three different uh, RGB, red, green, blue. So all of those are supposed to line up perfectly and give you a white um, line. And it's not doing that right here. So in an additional video past this one right here, I'm gonna show you guys how to make that perfect. So you have to do them like this, as well as like this. So you're aligning the panels. But we'll do that in just a minute. I think that's going to be the wrap up of this one right here on how to mount and uh, get your projector screen taken care of. Alrighty, guys. Well, that is a wrap on our alignment video. We got the RS3000. We got a 150 inch Studio Tech Stewart screen here. And this is about um, as perfect as you can get for a, a quick alignment. Again, Chris is going to show you some pro tips as well as you guys know we work with Chris Deering, the number one calibrator in the country. If you want to go to the next level, we can get you uh, Panamorph DCR lens, Lumigen um, scalers, the whole nine yards. Um, so if you want to take it up a notch, that's going to be it. But for your average guy, this is, this is it right here. And as you can see, we do have it a little bit over into the bleed zone. So we're ready to rock and roll. That's a wrap. If you guys would like to purchase anything home theater related, make sure to reach out and show your support. Here at Dream Media, we are kids playing with toys. We test this stuff. We've tried all the manufacturers and we know what good is. So if you guys want some expert advice, reach out. Our guys will do a FaceTime video with you. Walk through your potential space and we will optimize a package that fits your needs and budget. We would love the opportunity to earn your business. All right, guys. Well, if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up and smash that subscribe button down below for more. Till next time, this is Zach, Chris, and Kellen with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next one.